good morning students in today's lectures we are going to start a new skill oriented practical lesson that is accounting package for this accounting package you are going to learn the new application the name of the application is gnu khata the name of the package is gnu khata so let's start introduction to accounting software my dear students you are the commerce students and you are learning the account but now this day you are learning this account you are making manual entries in the ledger book but if you learn the accounting software you will do all the ledger entries in application and for that you need accounting package software and that package software name is gnu khata So in computerized accounting complete bookkeeping is done which enable user to record all type of transaction including receipt payment income and expenses sales and purchases debit note credit note adjustment journal memorandum journals and reversing journals and various open source accounting softwares are available in market such as gnu khata gnu cash turbo cash ledger smb money manager you can use any accounting software to keep or to record your daily transaction entry and this book has introduced gnu khata that is called gnu khata which is one of the open source software when you start learning information technology that time you have learned one operating system the name of the operating system was ubuntu and it was also open source and in between you have learned libre office and that also was open source again you are learning one more software to keep track of your all account and that software name is gnu khata my dear students you know the golden rules of accounting there are three type of accounts the first account is personal account personal account is related with the individual organization and institutions account for example personal capital account bank account etc the rule of personal account is debit the receiver and credit the given when you are going to record transaction personal account the person who is going to receive that called debitor and the person who give that called the creditor so that's why the rule of this personal account is debit the receiver and credit the giver A real account accounts relating to asset or business are called a real account and real account which are tangible or intangible in nature for example furniture goodwill trademark etc it comes under real account so real account rule is debit what comes in and credit what goes out suppose you purchase furniture so what comes to you furniture so that you are going to give debit to furniture that's why this rule will follow debit what comes in what comes to you for that things you will give debit and what goes out for that thing you will give credit so here suppose you have taken the example furniture if you purchase furniture the furniture will come to you for that you made the payment that's why the cash will goes out from you so here you will give a credit to the cash so debit out comes in credit out goes out the rule of the real account the next nominal account nominal account is related with all expenses and losses and income and gains of the business so whatever loss you are going to see in your business or whatever incomes comes to you in your business for that this account we are going to use that is called nominal account for example wages salary advertisement interest received etc 
for that the rule of nominal account is debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains whatever the expenses or losses are there that you are going to record in debit side and whatever income is there that you are going to record credit side so my dear students these are the golden rules of accounting personal account real account and nominal account now let's speak more about open source software that is gnu khata it's a open source accounting software package gnu khata is a free and flexible software for accounting and inventory management it provides solution for basic bookkeeping it has various versions such as gnu khata 4.0 gnu khata 5.0 gnu khata 6.0 so these all versions are available on internet and it is available on internet to for free download we will be using gnu khata 6.0 and this software freely available on the internet you will download as a free without paying 1 rupee for it by going to www.gnukhata.in this website i'll show you how to download so you are going to search this website www.gnukhata.in once you type you will see gnukhata website appear on your computer screen in this there are three buttons are given first is given for download second is given try it out means you can directly use this software online and you can click on learn to learn this software so if you click on this download it will start downloading here you have to provide your name and email id or if you already register then click on already register and you can download it if you not register to this site then you have to provide your name and email id and the verification code will be sent to your email that verification code you are going to enter once you click on send verification code and then you can download this software so what are the features of gnu khata the first feature of gnu khata is gnu khata is free and open source accounting software gnu khata is free and open source accounting software so that no need to purchase it you directly connect to the internet and download it and you can start using but other softwares are there that is called closed source software there you have to pay for example a substitute software for accounting and most of the people are using that is tally erp9 so tally is not a free and it is a closed source software that's why you have to purchase that if you not purchase it will not work for you for that reason here it is given you gnu khata the gnu khata is same like a tally accounting package second feature gnu khata is based on double entry bookkeeping same like a tally here you can make a double entry bookkeeping mean double entry systems is available in gnu khata third feature of gnu khata is gnu khata allows you to comprehensive financial report ledgers trial balance profit and loss account and balance sheet since all these features are available in tally also so that's why i told you the gnu khata is almost same like a tally accounting package the gnu khata provides source document attachment facility in vouchers this facility also is available in tally so gnu khata gives linking facility to linking of sales and purchase transaction to invoices gnu khata allow you to export and import spreadsheet also gnu khata gives password security and data audit facility so nobody can easily make changes in your company for that reason it is given this security unique dwell ledger facility is given inventory includes invoicing and cash memo it can be easily transform into indian language gnu khata having gst complaint means 
गुड सर्विस टैक्स ऑल्सो इज इंक्लूडेड इन गुनू खाता लाइक टैली अकाउंटिंग सॉफ्टवेयर सो माई डे स्टूडेंट्स वे आर नाउ गोइंग टू लर्न दिस गुनू खाता सॉफ्टवेयर सो ओपनिंग स्क्रीन ऑफ गुनू खाता विल लुक लाइक दिस सो वेन वी ओपन गुनू खाता फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट इज कॉल्ड ओपनिंग स्क्रीन और वेलकम स्क्रीन ऑफ जे एन यू खाता लाइक दिस आई शो यू हाउ इट वर्क ना विल ओपन द गुनू खाता टू ओपन गुनू खाता यू टू टाइप एच टी टी पी एच डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट गुनू खाता डॉट इन एंड दिस पेज विल ओपन इन दिस पेज यू आर गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड टू डाउनलोड इट ऑन इंस्टॉल ऑन योर कंप्यूटर एंड देन यू कैन ट्राई इट और यू कैन डायरेक्टली ट्राई इट आउट बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस बटन here it is asks you to register yourself if you already register then click on all regi already register and if you not register then enter your name and email id and click on send verification code the verification code will be sent to your email you are going to enter that and you can proceed ahead so click on already register because i have already registered to this side so i am entering my email id you have to register one time only not 100 time and once you register you enter your email id and click on submit once you click on submit you will come to the welcome screen of the gnu khata and the same screen is shown in your textbooks on page number 87 opening screen of gnu khata here it is ask company name and select financial year here if you already created the company then you can select the company from the company list and you can select once you select any company then you can select its a uh, financial year if you not then you can go back and you can create company setup wizard so to create a company you have to click on company setup wizard so here we have not created a company we are learning this software that's why we will create a company first to create company you have, you have to click on company setup wizard there are two types select existing company and company setup wizard you have to click on company setup wizard once you click on the company setup wizard this company setup wizard will open and this screen picture also is given on page number 88 in your iit textbook so this screen will allow you to create a new company so creating the company the first step in gnu khata is to create an organization so click on company setup wizard or press c plus control plus c so you will see this type of screen here the first thing is asks here you are going to provide the company name while creating company you have to provide some information and the first thing you are going to provide that is your company name so here enter the name of the company now here we are going to enter a company name suppose i'm going to create a company for my business then i can enter my business or my company name so i'm going to enter my company name xyz company limited okay then second is ask select the case select appropriate case for example upper case lower case title case so if you click on title case your company name will be display in title case means every word first letter will be capital if you select lower case your company name will be display in smaller letter and if you select upper case your company name will display in all capital letters okay next you are going to select the type of your company whether your company is profit making or not profit making so here you have to select the option profit making or not profit making i am selecting a not profit making okay and then you are going to enter the financial year of the company 
the financial year of the company start in April and end with 31st March so 1st April is start and end with 31st March so see automatically is taken 31st March 2021 okay so here financial year start with 1st April to 31st March then how will you like to use GNU Khata? It display three options that is account only, invoicing with bill wise accounting, inventory with invoicing and bill wise accounting, invoicing and bill wise accounting. So suppose you are going to make the entry in the software only account, then you have to click on account only. If your company's transactions are with inventory then you can click inventory with invoicing and bill wise accounting so you will get additional option over here if you click on the accounting we will see first accounting only so we are going to select account only okay then use simple mode for receipt and payment whenever you are going to record any transaction we are going to make the payment you are going to make the receipt but when you are making receipt and payment vouchers that should not come in simple mode that's why we are going to deactivate this here it should ask debit or credit in the receipt as well as the payment voucher that's why you are going to uncheck mark this box okay so uncheck use simple mode for receipt and payment voucher and use system generated voucher numbering use system generated voucher numbering so you have to click over here then click on proceed button it allows you to proceed to create company profile so click on proceed button go. so once you click on the proceed button you will see the company profile so company profile in this company profile you are going to enter appropriate company information for example registration number so here you can enter the registration number of your company then FCRA registration number then the address of a company city then you are going to select the state which state your company is there means which state you are working for example Maharashtra then you are going to enter the name of a country postal code contact number if you are having website then you can enter the name of your website then date of registrations when you register your company that date you can enter here also date of FCRA registration you are going to enter email of a company if you having fax number enter fax number PAN number service tax number if you having GSTN number you have to add once you finish adding this then you have to click on the proceed once you click on the proceed here it is asking please enter proper PAN number here you are going to if you don't have PAN number don't enter you click on proceed once you proceed then the next screen will appear 
that is create admin the next step is the create admin which is mandatory here you have to fill all the fields and then click on create and login so here you have to enter username so this will require to open your company every time so you should not forget this username for example i'm using username abc123 and then i'm going to create password you have to confirm the password once you confirm the password then if you forget the password security question will help you so that you are going to enter security question once you enter this type of question answer and click on create and login once you click on create and login it will ask you to save this password for this site if you want to save then click on save otherwise click on don't save now your company has been created with the name xyz company limited it's showing non profit and your admin username abc123 so admin this is the admin da dashboard in this you will see the voucher receipt payment journal and contra so all the voucher will be shown over here just now i said receipt payment sales purchase contra journal sales return purchase return credit note debit note this all journals when you will do the transaction your company is required whenever you are going to make payment the payment voucher you are going to make when you are going to receive the cash receipt voucher you are going to make when you purchase or sells sales and purchase voucher you are going to make and when you deposit or transfer or withdraw money from the bank you are going to make the contra voucher and if you have to do any adjustment need journal voucher similar way sales return and purchase re return credit note and debit note this voucher every time we need when we are doing any transaction in the company so here is the master here you are going to create account project edit company profile suppose you want to edit the company profile you can click on this edit pro company profile option and you can edit the informations of the company once you finish creating the company then you can go back and you can select the company from the list so let's see how you can select the company the close this screen and submit once again now the screen will appear for selecting the company now we have created already company now we can select the company name so here company name you can select xyz company limited non profit making this is our company 1st april to 31st march financial year is given click on the next it will ask you to enter username and password so username is abc123 and then the password password we have enter that we are going to provide over here once you provide the pass correct password click on the login you will see your company is going to open this way you can create the company and you can open the company and you can do the transaction in your company so this way you can open your company so here we have learned how to select the existing company now deleting existing company suppose you want to delete any existing company you have to go to the back to the previous screen here you are going to submit once you click on the submit button you can delete the company which you have created if you don't want you can delete the company so select the existing company over here in this list you can select the company which you want to delete for example just now you have created the company that company we can delete now 
so company name you have to provide xyz non profit company selected financial year also is displayed now click on next here it is asking you to provide username and password so here we are going to provide the password username first abc123 and then the password and click on login the company will open once the company open you can click on the dashboard here click on administration and then click on delete company if you want to delete this company click on delete company here the message asks you are about to delete this company this will destroy all the data related to this company such as company detail preferences accounts voucher document attachment etc please proceed if you are absolutely sure of what you are doing and the subsequent implications are you sure want to delete this then click on yes otherwise cancel it this screen okay we don't want to delete this company so we are going to close this screen now we are going to learn the next thing that is group and subgroup in GNU Khata group and subgroup in GNU Khata so what is group? group is a type of account <coughs> groups are helpful for classifying and identifying account head and also to get summarized information a group of account is a method of organizing the large number of ledger account into sequential arrangement so GNU Khata has 13 groups so balanced group subgroup and the ledger account summary of balanced group subgroup and ledger accounts are shown over here group names first is capital or corpus account then the current asset current liability fixed asset investment loan asset loan liability miscellaneous expenses reserve these are the group names are given the subgroup names for capital and corpus is not there but ledger accounts are given in the capital or corpus it comes capital account partners capital account share capital account and capital funds whenever this type of ledger account comes you have to select the group capital <coughs> subgroup cash as bank cash in hand inventory loans and advance sundry data this type of subgroup names comes under the current asset and when you're going to create a ledger account like a bank account cash account petty cash account closing stock state stock at the beginning short term loans this ledger account will go under the current asset when you're going to create a ledger account that time you have to keep in your mind the group name and the subgroup name for the ledger account then current liability <coughs> the provisions sundry creditor and sundry creditor for purchase these are the subgroup when you're going to create account of pf ESI, TDS, dues, etc. Provision for bad debts, income tax, outstanding expenses, all supplies or credit account. That time, this group name will come under, uh, ledger account will come under current liability and the subgroup will go for provision, creditor, sundry creditor and sundry creditor for purchase. Now, when you are going to create a ledger account like a building account, office building account, factory building account, that will go under the fixed asset. Subgroup will be building. Furniture account, shop furniture account, land account, machinery account, plant account, plant and machinery account, all this ledger account when you are going to create that time, it will go under the fixed asset again, but the subgroup according to their nature, furniture, land, plant and machinery. When you are going to create a bank fixed deposit ledger account, 
investment in shares investment in debenture that time you are going to take the group name under investment because these all are investment and when you are going to create a loan account that time you are going to select the loan it is a asset it does not have a subgroup bank loan other secure loan loan from partners and loan from managers when you are going to take that time it will go under the loan liability because is these are the liabilities and subgroup secure or unsecure preliminary expenses pre operational expenses etc this type of ledger will come under the miscellaneous expenses and the retained earning general reserve reserve and surplus ledger account will go under the group name reserves so my dear students when we are going to create a ledger account that time you will understand which ledger account will go under which group so that you must learn all these group name sub group name and the ledger account so it will help you to do the classifications of your ledger account and put the ledger account in the proper under the proper group name so my dear students today we have learned this gnu khata because on this gnu khata you are going to learn practical on this group khata there is a practical is asks to create use of accounting package to create a company this is the first skill oriented practical is asks let's see what is asks in the practical now we will learn the same practical so see sop1 use of accounting package to create a company here you can use any accounting package as i told you you are learning gnu khata there are different type of accounting packages are there and that we had learned when we start this gnu khata there is many accounting packages are there gnu cash is there turbo cash is there ledger smb is there money manager is there tally accounting software but this is not a open source that is a closed source software so here it is given you to learn open source software so any one open source software you can use to create a company with the following particular this for particulars are given company name case company type financial year and it is asks you to use gnu khata for account only purpose so let's see this practical how we can create this practicals to create this practical step by step once again we we'll learn the gnu khata for that first you have to type www.gnukhata.in once you type this address in the address bar and press enter key you will see the gnu khata screen in this gnu khata screen will ask you if you have already registered for this site you have to click on already register or you can enter name and email id of yours and verification code will be sent to you your email id that verification code you have to enter and you have to proceed otherwise just click on already register and enter your register email id and click on submit so this is the first steps a welcome to gnu khata screen will appear once it is appear here you are going to create a company now your practical will start so what are the requirement is asked in your practical that way you are going to create so the first step is over now you are going to create a company to create company in gnu khata click on company set of wizard company set of wizard here you have to click then the company set of wizard will appear in this screen you are going to enter the company name and here it is given what company you are going to create so company name is given b b enter enterprises okay once you finish entering the company name then you are going to select the case upper case here it is asked to select upper case once you select upper case your company name will be print in upper case then company type is given profit making it is company so here non prep we have seen non profit company now we are going to change this type of company to profit making okay 
then you are going to select the financial year and this financial year of this company start 1st April so here you are going to write 1st April 2019 2019 and it is going to end 31st March 2020 so it is automatically taken now how do you like to use GNU Kata Isaac? Here it is given account only. So you are going to select here account only. So click on account only and then use simple mode for receipt and payment voucher. You have to untick here and click on use system generated voucher numbering and then click on proceed. Once you click on the proceed. Here already BB Enterprises companies is created so I am going to change his name BB Enterprises 1 and then click on proceed. So now you will reach to create profile or edit profile of the company screen. Here you are going to fill all the detail of your companies and then click on create admin account for the company. Now here you can upload your company logo also so upload logo you have to click on the upload logo then you can upload any company logo suppose this is your company logo then you can enter like this company logo over here so the logo of the company will display over here then the address the address of the company you are going to provide over here last this time we use the address of the company Kudal. Now we are going to use another address. Suppose this company is present in Oros, then we can write Oros Sindhu Durg. Okay, then city Oros comes under the Kudal city, so you can write here Kudal. Then we are going to select the state Maharashtra, India, postal code 416812, contact number. You can give like this if you're having the website then enter the website address email address of the company we can enter bb enter pri prices at the rate gmail.com fax number of the company pan card number service tax number this detail you have to fill and then click on proceed once you click on the proceed you have to create a username for your company so we are going to create a username bb enter prices and password password we are going to give you over here once you enter the password confirm it and then give security questions any security question you can enter over here and after this you have to answer this question once you under th answer this question then click on create a login button once you create a login button your company detail will save now your company is ready to record your com transactions now your BB enterprise company is created so this way you can create a new company in GNU Kata. I hope you understood this practical how to use GNU Kata, how to create a company in the GNU Kata. In the next lectures we will learn the next skill oriented practical by using the same software GNU Kata accounting software and we will learn create a ledger account, creating ledger account using GNU Kata or any accounting package. Thank you.